so right now I'm driving. Um, probably dangerous vlogging and driving. Maybe I should stop. I'm still driving, but I'm focused on the road. Um, I'm going to get an interview with Hollywood Real. You guys um, heard of it before? Probably not because it's not started yet. However, this guy, his name's Uncle Jay. He's going to be interviewing me. Um, he used to work for or work with Tom Bilyeu. You probably know who that is. Impact Theory. Does that ring a bell? So it's going to be very interesting to see the dynamics of it. So he's had some influences on the show already. And I'm going to be one of them just before the launch that's happening in a couple of weeks time. So really exciting. Always like interviews. Um, and because everything's in flow. Because everything's in flow. And sometimes um, when Continue the portal is open the and there's Avenue. no like topic, it's pretty much open. Anything can happen. Maybe some crazy truth will come out. We'll see. Continue on North La Brea. So we've arrived. Let's go meet Uncle Jay. All right, welcome Eric. Oh, look at this. This is crazy. Look at all this. What's going on here? This is <laughs> This setup is legit. <laughs> Everything is energy. In that case, then energy moves in vibrations. What is thought then? Thought is vibration. Mm. So if we understand that thought is vibration, then vibrations attract vibration. This is basic science, you know? So how do we become more conscious about it in terms of what our thoughts are, what our emotions are, what our actions are, and how we can align those things? Okay, guys, so I just decided to give you guys a studio tour here because it's so awesome with this brother Jay here. So um, do you want to just give them a little brief about, for those of the of those people who want to like set up their own studios, what's going on here? I mean, this... You said there's like 100K worth of stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a setup right here. Yeah. And certainly for you, those of you who want to do your own video-based podcast or yeah. YouTube shows, you don't have to get this elaborate. <laughs> but but this, it's nice. Yeah, it is, but it's nice, right? <laughs> and, and it's really inspired by the work that I do for TV shows nice. and, and other talk shows similarly. So um, let's start right here on the set. Yep. So, um, I have some comfortable seats here, 55 inch TV. So these are the key lights right here. Yeah. The background here, mm -hmm. this right here is a teleprompter. This is a slider. It's this honeycomb grid that focuses the light. Yeah. This is a Canon C300. Right. And then you need the lenses to go with them. Okay. One, two, three. This is totally overkill also. <laughs> <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Um, first of all, for anybody setting up a YouTube channel, do they need this setup? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could really achieve a tremendous effect with much less equipment. And, and I guess the big takeaway is the lighting is the most important part. Yeah. Uh, you don't need really expensive lights. You just have to know how to paint with light. Yeah. So uh, take a lighting class. And I think a lot of the time when you get the lighting right, even using your iPhone is really sufficient, you know, especially if you're just doing like daily vlogs or anything like that, right? Um, Absolutely. I thought I was doing an overkill with a $5,000 camera setup <laughs> for vlogging, but this is just ridiculous. Anyway, thanks a lot, brother. Thank you. I'm going to put his link to his YouTube channel, really inspiring interviews. Make sure you follow it. It's going to be on the description below. Bye for now. Just arrived here in Tokyo town. First time checking it out. Let's see if there's a lot of Japanese around. Okay, this is the one we're checking out. Super excited to eat everything. You know when you're really, really hungry and you feel like you can eat everything, and then what happens is you start eating really, really fast, and then you end up not being able to eat everything. I think that's kind of what's gonna happen, what's gonna go down here. Um, yeah. 
I'm gonna enjoy. You guys enjoy your break time, maybe staring at the food. Bye. <laughs> Ordered a load of food, more food, eventually. Traveling, non-stop touring is like crazy, crazy, crazy. Just got back here, um, need to head down to London. Got another gig going on sometimes when you like... Oh, by the way, check out the new mirror, it's so cool. Can you see it? Huge! <laughs> that's for the feng shui, by the way, because that's to see the door. We'll talk about that another day. Anyway. Um, yeah, just all this traveling, sometimes with your vibrations is because there's so many different frequencies all around and whether you absorb different negative vibration frequencies or whether you are able to adapt to them, whether you're able to hold your high vibrational frequencies, these are all very, very, very important things. But I think the most important thing is actually to keep your life in balance. A lot of people, they see me traveling and traveling and traveling and traveling and traveling and thinking, wow, that is really out of balance. But actually, because in between each of the times, I make sure I take my breath and out. I make sure in every speech, this is why, um, you know, people look for balance in life thinking, oh, okay, it has to be like some sort of nine till five, then finish every day. And then if you're working every single day, it can't be, so they have to take weekends off. But actually how I look at it is very, very simple, is that if every moment you can keep balanced, then you can work like a horse, like it's going crazy. People think you're working on, like you're, like you're overdoing it, but you can go through a whole year like that and still not feel on burnout or tired if between every sentence, when you are aware, between every paragraph, between every moment, you are taking that breath to cleanse the energy, keep the vibrational frequency high, and then balance out at peace and calmness, then you can go on like forever and ever. Um, but obviously sometimes you still take days off, but that is one thing that I learned because in the past, I didn't used to capture the, this breath in every single moment, and all of the traveling just became like, overdoing it you know and then you always burn out after a while and then you need this rest where you're out for a week or something but now i got that motivation and that drive and that power and that energy to just keep going so guys that's it back home uh and i think we're gonna be delivering dad's surprise car soon so that's gonna be in the next vlog i think um i think <laughs> but for now guys if you enjoyed this video if you got anything out of it whatsoever please do hit the thumbs up if you're in and around the california place make sure to join us at the event it's gonna happen in next week two weeks time so it'd be good to see you all uh, or if you're anywhere in the u.s come over the tickets are in the link below in the description and finally um if you're new to this channel please do remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next year because this year i'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet but for now guys see you later ciao